New at 10, a plane carrying five people, including a retired Illinois school teacher, goes down in Panama. Amazingly, three people were found alive, but a week later, that teacher and another educator are missing. Our Charlie DeMar spoke with family as each day brings more anxiety. Charlie. Erica, good evening. And both families say they feel lost in a sea of bureaucracy. I had the chance to speak to one of those families. He says that he is calling on the United States government to help to pitch in, send some resources. And to this point, they haven't. We're two grieving families that are literally out here on the beach with binoculars. Authorities in Panama have joined the search from the air and on the ground. They have an outstanding search and rescue team, but they need help. Jake Vellman says it's not enough. His mom, Deborah, and family friend Sue Boris are missing after the small plane they were on crashed January 3rd off the coast of Panama. Everyone is asking the same question, which is, where is the U.S. response to this? Boris from southern Illinois. The Vellmans live just outside of Milwaukee. The former public school teachers became fast friends as expats spending their winters in Panama. Five people were on the plane, including Jake's dad. He survived. Jake says the plane's engine failed. You know, every day I'm crying uh, because I, both out of frustration with the situation and also because my parents were were and are deeply loved by many, many people. Vellman says so far they've received little to no help from the U.S. government and fears without that assistance, the plane and the two women may never be found. The moment someone does the right thing and gets involved in a meaningful way, we hope is the moment we finally can move on to the grieving process. And Jake's dad, who survived that plane crash, was flown back to Wisconsin, where he's undergone several surgeries. Reporting live tonight in the Streetside Studio, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Erica. Charlie, thank you.